Hello, this is Amy Lee, The Productive Mama, and today I want to tell you a little bit about the Sunday Basket. I will put a link to my detailed review um, underneath, but I thought I'd talk a little bit about it too. So, this is my Sunday Basket, and it is how I have been keeping my life organized lately. Uh, it is from Lisa Woodruff. It's her Sunday Basket system. You could take this idea, I'm sure, and um, do it on your own. Um, I didn't, and I talk more about why in my review, but um, I'm not crafty. It would have taken me a lot of time and energy to put the pieces together myself. Um, and she has this whole great system that goes along with it. So it is called the Sunday Basket. I don't do mine on Sundays. Shh. Um, I do mine on Fridays usually, and today is Thursday, so I figured I'd show you a little bit of what's in mine. Um, the reason I love this so much is it is a catch-all for all of the ideas, for all of the um, little things, mostly for all the pieces of paper that go with being a busy mom. So I just figured I'd show you some of the random stuff in here, not all of it, but a lot of it. I have some print photos that I've been dealing with lately. These need to go to um, a particular family friend. So they're in there waiting for when I can make that happen. Um, several coupons uh, that I think I might potentially use. So they're going to go into the coupon um, slash pocket. Um, this is not it, but this is what the slash pockets are that she sells. Um, and she has suggestions for how to color code them. Again, you could probably make this work yourself, but I don't. Um, insurance cards to file, um, checks to deposit, um, a tincture to give to somebody, right? So not just paper. Sometimes I have stuff in here. I've got like cords, tinctures, um, I think that's it for the, the stuff that I have. The rest is mostly paper, but I've had shirts in here before. Um, I, I often put cards, so a card that I know I need to send out to somebody in particular, but I don't want to do it um, today, and I don't need to do it before Friday. So one of the keys to the Sunday basket system is you say, can I deal with this on Sunday? Um, and if the answer is yes, then you dump it in here and that completely frees up the uh, your mental energy and the mental space to deal with the other more pressing things that are happening right now. Receipts to file, photo to give to somebody. Again, I just happen to be dealing with a lot of photos right now, so I have those in there. Card, what else, anything else? Odd or interesting. Here's just like a list of notes and ideas that I um, I want to be able to reference later, but I might not keep them for very long. Um, and probably I was on the phone or I was somewhere where I couldn't make a note digitally because sometimes I do that. I'm sure we all do that now. Uh, but sometimes paper is just where it's at and we're not going to be free of paper. And Lisa Woodruff talks a lot about that. So the Sunday basket is a way to really organize and keep track and manage all of the active papers of life. Um, so I've just been letting it. Let me see if there's anything else I need to say. Oh, you can hear my laundry. Um, it's absolutely been a worthwhile investment. It is $99. Um, is this something you can, you know, that actually costs $95, $99 to make? No, probably not. But again, it comes with a whole series of, um, of videos and lessons on how to adapt this program to you. And I definitely have adapted it to me. I don't necessarily do everything exactly the way um, they propose because that's just who I am. Um, but what I have learned from Lisa and this system um, has certainly been worth my investment in this. Uh, let me just see if there's anything else. I just love that it can catch all my thoughts. It can catch um, all my stuff, um, and I can just quickly assess, can I deal with this later? And then the key is you do have to deal with it later. I love that it also establishes family boundaries. 
So, you know, I'm not going to necessarily deal with uh, your thing, um, your paperwork, your request immediately, but put it in the Sunday basket. And I keep a little stack um, of paper next to mine too. So, uh, and it, this is all actually recycled paper from home, old homeschool lessons or whatever, and they can just write something on there. When I run out of that paper, if I ever do, I'm going to get, I have some somewhere, some dry erase note cards uh, that I will keep next to there. And then anyone who needs anything can just write it down. So that could be, um, oh, I don't know, check on permission slip, um, order more toilet paper, um, order more of my skincare, things like that. And they just drop it in and I can deal with it then. Um, I love that. I can I, I keep it and one of the keys is you keep it in sight so it's always in sight um, so it's easy to access unlike many file cabinets I don't know about you but our file cabinets are not where people usually hang out so this um, makes file cabinets actually uh, something we don't use very often and an ineffective way to manage a lot of the paper and um, files and things like that so um, and it definitely has helped me keep on top of filing, which um, you wouldn't think so because it's not a filing cabinet, it's not near the filing cabinets, but it has made it manageable in that I take, um, I take things that need to be filed in small batches uh, instead of suddenly having a huge stack that I just don't even want to look at. Um, so I love this system. I wish I had had this years ago. I wish I had had this when I had uh, young kids. I wish I had had this uh, earlier because for many, many years I did not have a good dedicated desk workspace for myself for the for, for this kind of stuff. Um, and this would have really helped so much, um, especially when the kids are really young and you're just, you know, you're tired, you're scatterbrained, things are all over the place. Uh, so I do go read my detailed review and I do really suggest you consider where, whether this system, whether you buy it or uh, put together something yourself, uh, might be useful to you and to your family.